With a spirit as bright as a thousand suns, Bridger Housley captures the hearts of all who meet him. His journey marked by an unusual path with trials that would daunt many, but his challenges have forged him into a courageous young man that embraces life with an indomitable will. Although Bridger is only 12 years old, his heart is as boundless as the heavens and his wisdom as ancient as the stars. No matter how big the challenge, Bridger always finds a way to pursue his dreams with unwavering resolve. His dream? To hunt and seek adventure all over the world. Join us on this quest to honor Bridger on a whitetail deer hunt at the Covered S Ranch. And stay tuned as we take a helicopter sky high with Bridger co-piloting. I've always remembered definitely being small because I've always been the shorter kid in school. And I also always remember kind of definitely being the different one, you could say. Um, I definitely didn't know myself as kind of disabled and different until probably like first or second grade. That's when I kind of realized that nobody else has what I have. Well, Bridger is a miracle, and he's been um, a miracle to our family, and he's brought so many blessings to our family. He was born with a syndrome, it's called Ehlers-Danlos Type 7. It's very rare. Um, he likes to brag about how rare he is, and he is very unique. He's, um, it affects the collagen in his collagen gene. Um, and so his ligaments and his soft tissue are very, we just call him floppy, and he's very flexible. It's our first morning out. We got our eyes on first year, and they're actually like feeding with their heads down being mellow, which is a change, so that's nice. They've been bird dogging so fast out here, um, but we're gonna have a good day. We're gonna see some deer. We've got a stand, we're gonna sit this afternoon if we don't get on one this morning. And uh, we're just gonna be a great hunt. Bridger's, Bridger's gonna get to see the lots of white-tailed deer. Dang, that's cool. My friends have always played sports and I've obviously kind of never been able to because I can't, I can barely run without dislocating my kneecap and, or just getting injured in general. I've played basketball with my friends occasionally, but I've always, found it fun to go hunting because obviously my dad and, and my brother have always just gone hunting and I've kind of never gone with them up until I was about 10 years old. I started going hunting and I kind of realized like this is, this is fun. Is that that big one? Go get the gun. Okay, find him with your naked eyes first. So he's yeah. just right here walking. Is he on this side of the ridge or the other he's side? He's on the other side of the ridge. I can't see him right now. Just got on one to practice. I think it went well. It found, a, found a shooter, but it wouldn't hold still, huh? It was a big deer. Welcome to my week. 
it's been like this. They're crazy. They're moving fast and they're rutting and they're looking for does. And so this is good practice. Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Night Force Optics. Rugged, reliable, repeatable. And on X Hunt, know where you stand. Yeah, what have we seen so far, Bridger? We've seen some pretty, pretty good deer. And then we have this one that I'm nicknaming, I'm nicknaming this deer um, Skippy. Skippy, huh? It's always, it won't stop moving. It's just constantly on the move, but you can't predict where it's moving. So, yeah, that's good. That's kind of the white tail right, right now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good one though, so hopefully we can get it. Yeah, I hope so too. Bridger, Bridger's beyond his years. He's he's an old soul trapped in a little body. Hey Christy, mm -hmm. I got an idea for you for oh. your next episode. Okay. You should integrate 60 seconds with Bridger Housley. Do I got, what? I have 60 seconds to say whatever I want. Oh boy, I don't know about that. I... <laughs> well, I feel that, you know, there's a lot of things that unfortunately Bridger can't do. He'll never be able to really fully play sports, um, things like that, run around. Uh, but hunting has always been something that we've known that he could do. And I think that was one of the things that always got us through. You know, you have some low times when you have a child with a disability and you do have those times that you think, you know, why is this happening to our family? Why, you know, we just want healthy children that can run and play and, and that we don't have to um, take care of so much and, and try to um, help be accepted into this world. And, but, that's something that hunting has always been kind of that um, crutch that we've said it's okay. He'll always be able to hunt. Ooh, way down to the right. Way Dang it. Well, we'll get him next time. <laughs> Good try. You got set up on those sticks really fast, Bridger, and this is a tough shot. It's really windy out here today, and and uh, you did really good getting on them, and you made me proud. He's gonna shoot 300 yards. Good job, Bridger. <laughs> We're out hunting, it's kind of, I just don't have a disability, basically. When we get out there, me being disabled kind of just flies out the window for a little bit, and we just go out. If I can't get up on the hill, we'll find a way for me to get up there, and we just figure out a way to do it. Everybody kind of has a little bit of fear of heights, and I do and don't. And when I saw the blind, it kind of triggered the fear of heights. It was kind of just, it's basically a big metal box with windows and a ladder suspended 10 feet in the air. Just got set up in the blind. Um, Richard's got basically like a 90 uh, yard radius from our left and our right. These deer are bedding in these cedars and they've been moving really early. Um, so this is a really good spot for us to be because we're in their bedroom. Hopefully when they start moving, we're gonna be in a good spot for them to make a shot. Everything's really quiet and calm. Um, just getting him on sticks, kind of doing the spot and stalk thing was a little challenging. So I think this is gonna be a lot better and um, hopefully we'll see more deer.
sit on your dad's lap and get some. White tail deer. They were some mm -hmm. white legs. White legs. Hi. Hey, Mom. Hi. We uh, may or may not have done something. Oh my goodness. We already? <laughs> yeah, we we going down. When I think of a white-tailed deer, I think of this. <laughs> um, thank you to the Coverdust Ranch for um, giving me the opportunity to come out and kill this. This has been on Bridger's bucket list for a long time. And because of some really great people, we have opportunity to, to do something like this. Congratulations, buddy. Group hug! Oh. <laughs> totally smashed Bridger in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Where'd he go? Here you go. Congratulations, buddy. We're all really proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. To yes, sir. You're very well. Means a lot. I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm glad I, you're here. I had a ton of fun yesterday. Good. The stand was a little sketchy, but. Yes. <laughs> it is. The Covered S Ranch has a huge surprise this morning for Bridger and Blake and Abby. Um, we are all going to go up in Chet's helicopter and Blake's going to get to do some helicopter hog hunting. Hopefully we find some pigs um, and Bridger's going to have the co-pilot experience in the helicopter and we've been keeping this under wraps and hidden from Bridger and it's going to be a great surprise. I cannot wait to see his 12 year old boy's response <laughs> when he sees that big blacked out helicopter. It's an incredible machine and uh, I really think it's probably every little kid's dream come true. So check this out. It's going to be fun. It's for you, Bridger. Bridgie, what's going on this morning, buddy? He's humming a lot. He hum, is hum. A humming a lot. Hmm. What's, uh, what's this cool building we're in? A helicopter hangar. A helicopter hangar. Are you going to fly in a helicopter? I don't know what we're doing. Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Tinks, America's number one buck lure, and Dead Down Wind, real science, real results. Turn the road and start driving up, and Christy goes, huh, I wonder what he's doing with the helicopter. And I didn't want to say anything, but I was like, I have a strange 
suspicion or flying. Yep. Don't press this button, that's the missile, okay? Ooh. That's, that's the missile launcher. Are you documenting this for your YouTube channel, Bridger? I'm documenting this for, my, for me personally. <laughs> I was like, there's a coyote, so he'd find it and the um, pilot would flip over and my dad would be facing it. And definitely he took a couple more misses than I did. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah. 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 Bridger has uh, his character, he is a friend to everybody. And this is just something that's natural to him. And, you know, I remember it, it was only, he was maybe about eight years old and he came to me and it, he kind of had the realization that, oh, mom, I'm different. Like I've got a disability. And he didn't, I, it hit me like, Oh, it, he's been living his whole life and hasn't even realized that he is different or he has this disability. And that's just how he has always lived his life. He's just one with everybody else. He can do whatever anybody else does and he tries and sometimes he gets injured and we have to tell him, you need to slow down. <laughs> well, it's one of my dreams to, fly, or to be in a helicopter and fly it and I just did both. Pilot now. Yeah? Alright, give me my license. Set me off. <laughs> what do you think, bud? That was insane. I feel like I got sea legs. <laughs> it was definitely a dream come true for me and my dad. Because it was always my dream to go in a helicopter and like have the chance to fly a helicopter. And it's I don't think he'll admit this, but it was definitely one of his dreams to Ha or to shoot coyotes out of a helicopter. <laughs> that was a riot. The last thing I would have expected oh, was to find a helicopter. Oh, I know, right? That was good. Me too. I wasn't that planning was this at all. And then I got here and <laughs> Mr. Chet is just so going? gracious. He just has that attitude of nothing's going to stop him. And he and I think having this attitude is what has helped him just be so, you know, he's 12 years, I want to say successful in life, but he is. He is just this um, brilliant, funny, just such a good kid to everybody. I pick him up from school and he always has a whole crowd of kids around him and walking him out and they want to help him. They want to carry his backpack. They just, He's just a popular kid and it's just because nothing has ever held him back. And he just treats everybody like he wants to be treated. Which one do you want? Uh, I think this one real quick. Oh. I'll do this one. That one? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You bet, bud. Oh, yeah. You can probably raise it up a little bit. Wow. You want it up some? Yeah. To any other to any other kid that's disabled, I say you're not. In the I guess you could say real world out in public, you are, but when you go hunting, you're not disabled. When they say I have a disability, I think of it as you don't have a disability, more so a different ability. I feel like sometimes people just let the disability, they think to themselves, well, I'm disabled, so I just can't do anything. And they just lose a chunk of their life because they just think that they can't do it. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. We got a picture. That's, that's so sweet. That's me and Bridger. 
last year at Hunt Expo. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it Very too. cute. Yeah. You know what the best present is? Wow. Your present. You be here. That is all for this interview. Um, if you want to see more kind of about me, you can go on to Instagram. My Instagram handle is Bridger Housley. Um, thank you to the Coverdess Ranch for allowing me the opportunity to come out here. Obviously, thank you to Christy Titus for kind of orchestrating this. And this has been an awesome experience. Thank you for watching this episode of Pursue the Wild. Jump behind the scenes with us for our podcast, Wild and Uncut, or tune into our digital lifestyle show, Our Wild Life. You can stream everything on my website, pursuethewild.com, and be sure to follow me on social media, at Christy Titus.